Outbreak of avian flu has led Indiana farmers to put down about 414,000 birds this year. Fewer birds mean less poultry products for grocery stores. News 18 Samantha Tiki spoke with a Purdue expert today about the impact of the avian flu on the price you pay for groceries. The latest strain of the avian flu has forced Indiana farmers to kill more than 400,000 turkeys and chickens. Last summer, a different strain left millions of birds dead across the Midwest, leading to an increase in poultry product prices. But Purdue agricultural economist Philip Parlberg says consumers shouldn't worry about seeing the same increase in prices anytime soon. We're not seeing big increases in prices. In fact, for most products, with the exception of eggs, um, prices actually last week went, were down actually lower. Parlberg says prices haven't risen because the outbreak has impacted a small number of birds in a localized area. That's compared to about 48 million birds last summer. You know, we're talking about a fairly small number of birds depopulated. We've lost some exports. Uh, which kind of balances that out. Parlberg says the U.S. is a major exporter of poultry products. However, he says some countries have restricted imports of poultry because of the avian flu outbreak in Indiana. The low demand creates a bigger supply and more consistent price for shoppers. You've got two conflicting impacts. One is the, is the reduction of supply as you depopulate the birds. That would raise prices. On the other hand, loss in export markets lowers price. And so these two actually work to offset each other. Until the restrictions are lifted, Parlberg says shoppers shouldn't notice much of a change at the grocery store. And they've taken the action they're going to take. And so the trade restrictions at this point won't change. And if we don't have any more outbreaks, I think then, then the situation has, has uh, kind of stabilized. Reporting in West Lafayette, Samantha Tiki, News 18. And Parlberg says prices this quarter have fluctuated by about a percentage point. He says that's typical for the market at this time of year.